Today we're going to edit the images of our baby regal jumping spiders. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we're going to edit the images of our baby regal jumping spiders that we took in this video here. So let's get into Lightroom and let's uh, have a look at these images. Okay, first off, I'm just going to flag those as a pick. That's the uh, the P key on the keyboard. So what I'm going to do is when I see something that I like, uh, I'm going to press uh, the stars to start. If I don't like it, then what I'll do is I'll press the X key to unflag it. Okay. Now for that to work, when first of all we need to turn the filters to flagged. If you look at this first shot here, which is when we was um, setting up the magnification of our camera, we won't need that, so we can press X and that gets rid of it. So now we have um, the shots of us setting up the background, setting up the background lights, getting it to where we want it. And we are here with our first jumping spider. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at um, the image and see if the spider's actually looking at the camera. That's the first thing. If he's not looking at the camera, I'm going to remove the image. You can see she's looking at the camera. I'm going to keep it. And if he's not, we don't. So now we've filtered out all the images where he's not looking at the camera, what we want to do now is get rid of the images that are out of focus. So I'm going to come back to the first one. I'm going to zoom in on the eyes. That's okay. This one. That's okay. Is okay. Now you see that one slightly missed the focus, so we get rid of it. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. We've already looked at that one. All right, missed focus. And again. That's okay. That's okay. That one's okay. And that one's okay. Okay, so now we've got rid of all the images that are out of focus. What we want to do now is look at the composition and I want to see the green pepper pelts on his uh, face. So we're going to go back again and we'll have a look at this one. Okay, so you can see the composition is good. We've got this, um, you know, the, the grass coming in from the left hand side, and we can see his pepper pelt, so they're okay. This one, I like the composition, but we can't see his pepper pelt. So, what we'll do the first one, we'll give that a four star. This one, we'll give a three star. Look at the next one. Okay, the composition's okay, but we can't see his pepper pelts again, so we give that a three star. That one, I'm not keen on. Let's get rid of that one. I don't like the composition of that one. This one's a three star. We do. Oh yeah, we can use the number keys to um, the uh, stars on. So let's have a look at this one. Five star that one. Three star that one. Three star. Go for four. This one I really like. I'm going to do five on that one. Four. And a three. Okay, so we've gone from rated our images now. What I want to do now is filter out the five stars. We're going to come to flagged. We're going to go to rated and we want five star and we have two images to work on. Let's have a look at these two. I do like that one and I do like that one. So for this one 
Not much needs to be done. Okay, so let's start with. Uh, I'm going to bump the um, the clarity up and the vibrance and the saturation just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to come down to detail before we mess with any colours. I'm going to increase the sharpening to 50. And holding down my OK, I'm going to move the masking until the background has no white on it. It's usually around 50. I'm going to reduce that noise a little bit by about 25. And let's do the, uh, the cropping. So I want this uh, stalk here coming out of the corner, so I need to move that down. So let's bring right out the corner. He's on this ruler first just here, very nice. We'll click done. And now we can start playing with our um, colours. So I'm going to bring the uh, exposure up a little bit, contrast up a little bit. And bring the whites down just a little bit. What I'm doing, I'm just moving the sliders left and right to see what I like and what I don't like. If there's any effect I like, then I'll keep it. Okay, let's come down to lens correction. We're going to tick both of those. It should automatically detect it's the 50mm 1.8. And then I'm going to come all the way down to the camera calibration, the blue slider. I'm just going to move this around to see what I like. Unfortunately, I don't really like it much. I'm going to move it a little bit over to minus 10. Uh, and I like a minus 10 on the saturation. Look at the greens. No, don't like that. And again, I don't like the reds. And I don't think the tint will work. Nope, definitely not. To be honest with you, this, uh, this image is very good straight out of camera. So I'm going to keep it like that. Okay, so I'm going to synchronize that over to this one. To do that, I need to uh, select our image, shift click on the next one, click on sync, and make sure that cropping is unticked because we don't want to crop it the same way. I'd give the same type of edit as um, that first one. Here we go. Wait for it to render. There we go. So the cropping on this one, I think, is brilliant. I like it. We have it going dark up here, so there's nothing distracting in the background. Yeah. I think mean, that's great the way it is. Okay, so we're going to take these into Photoshop now and just do a little bit of cleanup. Okay, so the first one, we're going to take that into Photoshop. So we're going to go Photo, Editing, and Adobe Photoshop. Now there's not much that's going to need cleaning up on this particular image because it was taken at the beginning of the photo shoot. But what I want to do is I just want to remove some of these little bungee lines that he's left lying around. And any distracting parts, we're going to get rid of those. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select my uh, Spot Healing Brush Tool, making sure Content Aware is selected. And we're going to use that for the majority of this. Remove those. Rather do the same thing. I'll do that. What happened there is if you get too close to an object where it's got a contrasty edge, it doesn't quite work. So we want to try and avoid that edge just there. And where it's touching something, I'm just clicking once to tell it that I want to go from there. Run over and it should remove it. Doesn't always do the job, but it does a pretty good job. Remove the 
it's there. You can hardly see it to be honest with you, so we don't have to worry too much about it there. It's mostly the ones that are on the uh, the blue, they stand out a little bit too much. Now I'm going to attempt to put a texture on, we might not use it, but let's just find out if we can enhance this any. And we're going to go with Antique. Now if you want to know how to create these textures, drop me a comment down below in this video and I'll see if I can make a video on how to create the textures. I'm just going to bring this over. size it up to fit our canvas and then set it to let's have a look over uh, uh, soft light sorry we'll set it to soft now let's have a look at that before and after so I want to get rid of this little part here so let's bring back our let's bring out a spot healing tool I'm just going to click and then shift click just like that okay let's set it back to soft light and to me that's looking perfectly okay like that so what I want to do now I'm going to run an action from my smooth skins I'm just going to put on a fashion look now you can use any type of coloring that you want completely up to you but for me now that 50% usually works quite nicely let's have a look again so it's on our rule of thirds we've got it coming out the corner coming up it's leading your eye through the frame and to me that looks great let's go and have a look at our other image we do the same again photo editing Adobe Photoshop and this is going to need a lot more work to do to um, you have to get rid of all these bungee cords so I'm going to speed up the video now so you'll see it happening quite quickly exactly the same as before I just interrupt this uh, quick speed here just to say that I'm not trying to remove all of the bungee cords that uh, the spider puts down I'm just reducing the amount that there are And if at any time it doesn't work, just go over it again and again and again, and eventually you will get it. So to clean up this last bit, I'm just going to switch to a normal brush and I'm going to sample colour from the background and just brush over lightly. And there we go. I'm going to grab the texture from this layer. In fact, I'm going to grab both of these uh, the layers, the uh, texture and the folder. I'm just going to move those over, holding the shift key down, and resize it. Okay. Let's turn those on and off. You can see the difference there. And that's it, that's all I'm going to do to these images. I'm just going to leave them exactly like this. I will now post these on my uh, Facebook group. If you are interested in joining the Macro World Facebook group, there's a link down below for that. But that's literally all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do anything else but that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Stuart Wood. And again, if you're interested in this subject, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Click the bell icon to get notified when new videos go live. And as always, I'll see you on the next video, guys.